There we have it. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my channel, Her Aries. My name is Chelsea, and this is the channel where we do all Aries readings. And I'm back. I could not wait to record again. So much has happened in my life. And then I had I had off time. I had vacation time. And so I'm scrolling through. And a lot of you I follow on social media. You follow me. And I'm just I don't know if it's the Aries energy. I don't know if it's because we're about to go into Aries season, but y'all are popping, okay? I've seen new hairstyles. I've seen people get their nails done. They never got their nails done before. I'm seeing people put out new products, selling things, numbers going up. I mean, round of applause for Aries right now, okay? I'm seeing y'all on vacation. I'm seeing y'all living your best lives. It's amazing. It's and I'm feeding off of the energy. It's it's here. It's it's us right now. Change is in the air and it is beautiful. So just to let you guys know I do see you. I also do see you who are messaging me and emailing me and just give me a second. I'm trying to get my balance. I'm in the process of moving, which is going to be a lot easier than us a, 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 a lot easier than I I don't want to say I projected, but expected. I have a lot of people who are showing me love right now and extending the olive branch to help me move. So this is going to be a swift move. I'm just moving down the street into a bigger house, into a nice big house into, with a nice big backyard and a front porch and a back porch. And it is amazing because, yes, everything that I'm getting, I wrote in that letter as well. And I can't wait to share you guys. I can't wait to share that with you guys from one of my porches when I get there. We will have an immense story time um, because I just feel like my story is very encouraging. Some of you have you've known over the years since I've been on this channel, I've told you a little bit about my background, but I've been homeless before. I've been in a battered women's shelter before. I've experienced domestic violence, all these things that like literally had me in the trenches and then now here I am you know so I always like to be very transparent and tell people my story my background because a lot of you um are going through the same things and when I tell you I get it and I know when I be responding to you trust me I know okay <laughs> I know I'd be trying to respond to everybody especially when you're going through difficulties especially when you're going through financial issues all of that stuff because I've been there I have absolutely been there. And so that's why I'm here to help. But um, yeah, this move was kind of unexpected. I knew a few weeks ago I needed to move and I had a Disney trip planned months ago. So it's it's been a lot. It's been a lot. But I think I'm going to get on and have a story time with you guys once I get settled within the next week. But anywho, let's get to this overall energy for... The week ahead. So today is Tuesday. This will be the energy from Tuesday to next Tuesday. Okay. All right. So let's take a look. So I pulled some cards for the overall energy. And the first two cards we have are expression, expression and peace. Um, you are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of love. We have peace. I am a being of love and I release all negative energy. All right. So when I was pulling these cards, the first thing I was getting is that there may be something that you need to say, Aries. You may need to get something off your chest. You may need to speak your mind, express something, right? To keep your peace, to keep the peace around you. Um, yeah, yeah, that, that, that's it. Like there is something that needs to be said um, from you using your voice that if it's not, if it's not said, I feel that it will kind of put a, a cloud over you, right? So in order to keep yourself, and you, so you know what I'm trying to say is, it's like, it feels like somebody may be trying to appease someone else. You're putting yourself second. You're putting yourself on the back burner, um, in order to make somebody else feel good. But spirit is saying right now, this is your time for your peace, you to feel good, right? So do not, um, I know there's certain times where you can do that and you can compromise and things like that, but this is about, this energy right here is about you expressing yourself so you can stay in a peaceful energy, okay? The cards I pulled this morning, uh, this morning before I went to the gym and I hadn't touched cards in a week, over a week, I got these cards was alignment, I think divine masculine, a windfall of money is coming, 
And what were the other cards? Div um, alignment. Oh, um, re relocation. So yeah, I got relocation. But when I was when I was looking at the cards, and it's funny because expression and peace came out, there was something about the alignment and the windfall of money that was connected. So some of you who could be manifesting money, it is very important for you to stay in alignment. Staying in alignment means speaking your peace, not holding things in. Because um, you know when you hold things in, they bubble to the top, all right? So I don't know if somebody may need that message there, specifically if you're manifesting money. So the next card we have for the overall energy is let go of guilt. When you feel your light, when you, when you, when you allow your light to shine brightly, you inspire others. Forgive yourself for what you think you've done or not done and trust the God, that God loves you unconditionally for who you are. Learn and grow from past mistakes instead of berating yourself for them, okay? So let go of guilt. We have a time for a new career or job change. <clears throat> we have grounding, and I'm going to read this card, and which is number three, grounding. And for the tarot, three cards came out. We have the two of wands, we have the fool, and we have the world card. So there is a decision that you need to make, Aries, here this week about which direction you're going in. This could be about around starting something new, a new project, like it says, a new job. For those of you who love your job or you're in entrepreneurship, you love what you do, I feel that this also, a time for a new job or career, is about expanding your horizon, expanding your market, new, like I said earlier, new products, um, new streams of income, adding to what you already have. It doesn't have to be a complete change, but some of you who you know that it, you've been getting that message or intuitively knowing it's time to change, it may be time for a new career change for you, okay? But whatever this decision is that you make, it's about taking a leap of faith, doing something differently here with the full energy. And whatever it is, it's gonna lead you to success, right? The spirit really wants you to to jump, to leap without looking and to rely on your faith, okay? All right, so let's see here. <clears throat> with the tea leaf cards. We'll pull some cards for the week. We got two more. Look at that. So the pin card came out, which is new job, new career. I'm not trying to flash y'all, but it keeps coming up. We have um, heels, obstacles to overcome, Ops, obstacles to overcome. And we have fan, romance, celebration, and party. And then we have the tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. Love that. Love that. All right, so what else do we have here? Um... Oh, the Kipper. Some of my cards are put away. So let's see what's coming to Aries before. Oh, before I go to the Kipper, let's read the grounding. So we have, is it Sachi? Sachi? And it's grounding. It says, okay, protect your magic. Your heart is your own. Your body is your own. Your mind is yours. Your mind is yours. Your truth and story are your own. Be rooted in your truth. Create healthy boundaries. Your energy is unsteady. Breathe. Come into the present. Say out loud, I am here. Trauma, stress, overwhelm, anxiety, and fear disconnect you from your body. Grounding keeps you present. When you feel rootless or unsettled, come back to your breath. Meditation and breath work are grounding. Try earthing, connecting your feet to soil. Free riding, clapping, stomping, and rubbing your hands together are all grounding. Goddess Declaration, I am firmly planted and deeply rooted. So, um, this is something that I had to do earlier, meditation. This is a good, 
time to remind you guys to take meditation very seriously. Like put it into your routine, like any other thing that you would do, like brushing your teeth, whatever, because I promise you, and I have to remind myself of this sometimes, but it works every time. 15 minutes a day will literally keep the stress away. Like they say, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. 15 minutes a day keeps the stress away. Even the most difficult tasks to overcome, the most stressful tasks to overcome. If you sit with yourself, if you sit with spirit, source, your ancestors for 15 minutes and you just get those messages, those divine flow, release some things that need to go, right? And you get that intuitive guidance. It is so powerful. It'll put you so far ahead than others who aren't and it'll put you far ahead in your own life, okay? So especially um, it helps with anxiety, but it also just helps for you to stay in alignment. And I'm telling you the word alignment is penetrating hard for this week. There's something here about where you need to protect your peace, excuse me, your energy and remain in alignment this week. So I don't know if there is a trigger coming, but it does feel like a manifestation coming in. It does feel like something is coming in that is going to help you be successful, have success and close a chapter out. So let's see what's coming towards Aries within the next week. What do they need to see? We have journey. So it could be traveling a trip. You have a gift. Beautiful. What's coming towards Aries within the next week? We have toil and labor. Let's pull one more. What is coming towards Aries within the next week? And we have community. Okay. So using when I, that's funny because when I saw grounding, I said number three, I thought of the three of pentacles. So there could be people around you that could be helpful in your community. You could be working together with people as well. But I'm also getting that there could be something coming in that could help you take a trip or a journey to move. But there's also toil and labor here. And I want to pull on that because the toil and labor feels like, hard work that may not be necessary. And that's just what I was saying. When you meditate, you can get around those type of things, but it feels like monotonous work, hard work that may not be necessary. So I don't know if it's in your job per se, or this is something that is in your life, but toil and labor is hard work. It's a lot of work. Um, and you could be rewarded for it with the gift energy, but let's see. Oh, let me use these cards. <laughs> I've got my villain cards since I went to Disney. Let's see here. I feel like I just heard things could be easier. So there's something that could be easier with the toil and labor. And somebody could be doing someone else's work is what I just heard. So that I think that could be for somebody that, it, I mean, it could be in a job, but it could be in any setting really. If you're picking up the slack for someone else, spirit is saying, stop it, <laughs> okay? You're making your life, your life difficult and somebody else's life easy and it's at the expense of your own peace. So stop it. Look at that. The sun card is at the bottom of the deck, okay? All right, so let's take a look at journey. What is journey here? Page of wands and the knight of coins. So slow and steady, Wins, wins the race type of energy. The page of wands, there is some sort of action, new beginning that you're taking, but it's not just the inspiration. This is the actual doing. This could be a new career, could be a job change here, but it's something that is exciting. And the knight of coins is literally that energy of slow and steady wins the race, right? You are getting to a goal. This feels financial. So this feels like a financial opportunity. This feels like somebody is, this is a message of just saying you are on the right track. OK, you are on the right track in whatever you're doing to make money or to seek out in creating your own abundance. OK, you're on the right track. Even I want to say this, even if you're searching for a job, even if you're searching for a job, you're on the right track. Even like, you know, some people think, OK, well, I, got, I applied for this job. It didn't work out. But in that doing that, you're you're being led to where you need to be. OK, hope that makes sense. You're being led to where you need to be. Tell us about gift. 
but I just heard somebody is going to make a lot of money on the track that they're on right now. And it has something to do with what you're creating. Um, it could be your own products and you could see slow growth right now, but slow and steady wins the race. Stick to it. I just keep hearing a lot of money. Look at this. The Wheel of Fortune. I think that's sleeping from Sleeping Beauty, the needle. Yeah. The Wheel of Fortune here is underneath GIF. So that's major. There is literally something coming in your life that is going to change your life. Okay, that is major. It is faded. So there's nothing that you could do to stop it or make it come faster. It's abundance. It's good luck. It's good energy here. Yeah. There's a gift coming in for you. I heard you're manifesting it. So this could be something that you're manifesting. It could be monetary. I'll go back and um, clarify, but let's take a look at toil and labor. Queen of Wands. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this deck. I'm sorry. Uh, the Queen of Wands. We got the witches here. All my nails are gone from Disney. So this is just what it's giving right now. Um, the Queen of Wands. Who is this? Um, I want to say Maleficent, but yeah, uh, Snow, Snow White. So the Queen of Wands is under toil and labor, like immediately immediately what I got is that somebody is doing something and you're making your job harder than what it needs to be. And you're not using your magic. So when I say you're not using your magic here, like I'm just going to use an example. Everything that I need to do or I need to manifest, I always write down. And then I just speak it and say, everything I write down comes to fruition. And then it does. It may not be instantly, it may not be tomorrow, but it does. And just by doing that, you know, you literally, when I say you create your own reality, you tell yourself how you manifest, okay? So you can say however you want to do it, if this works for me and it will work for you. And so I feel like there's someone here who is trying to accomplish something, trying to get something done, but you're taking the long way, okay? You're taking the hard way. Okay, you're 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 giving yourself more work, more effort than needs to be instead of believing in your own magic, believing in your own manifesting powers, believing in yourself. Okay, so I don't know if somebody has told you, hey, this what you're doing has to get done like this, and it's a lot of hard work, and da da da. -da. That's crap. Okay, because I feel like there's someone here who's making something harder for themselves than it needs to be. And maybe that's something that you need to tell yourself. Look, the sun is at the bottom of the deck and the magician. Beautiful energy here. Maybe that's something that you need to tell yourself is that things that I want to accomplish come easy for me. Start there and see where that leads you. See where your inspired action leads you. Let's take a look at community. We got the seven of coins. Seven of Coins talks about a payout, an investment that has been a long time coming, something coming in for you. And the Eight of Wands here. So there could be something that was some sort of payout or something that you've invested into somebody else or a business or something like that, that was been taking a long time to come. Oh, look, my nose is itching. Something that was taking a long time to come, but the Eight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, it comes in quickly. Tell me about the, um, tell me about the Seven of Coins in the community. Three of Cups. Yeah, there's celebrations. This could be also people celebrating with you who are happy for you. Something about something that has been a long time coming and it feels like monetary. This All of this really feels like monetary. We got the High Priestess. Tell us about the High Priestess. The Sun. Wow. The death card. There's something here that is coming in for you, Aries. This is going to be different for everyone, so I'm going to leave it general. It, it, I want to say it's going to change your life, and that sounds so like, ooh, but it really, like, you got the death card in the sun. So this really could be life-changing in the most positive way. Um, and literally, slow and steady wins the race. This could also apply to this as well with the high priestess. This is something here that has been... Has been, I was gonna say percolating. 
but something that has been manifesting behind the veil, behind the scenes, like spirit has been doing the work. You have been doing the work on your side. Spirit has been doing the, you know, the rest of the work, the magic here, and it is about to be revealed to you. Seven of pentacles, again, it does feel like monetary. It feels like some sort of tangible success. And the death card in the sun here is something that's going to make you very happy. Tell me about toil and labor and um, the yeah, tell me about Toil and Labor and the Queen of Wands. The Hermit. There's also an energy here of you needing to keep quiet about what you're working on while you're working on it, okay? And that could also be the reason why your magic within is not working. Maybe you're telling too many people about something that you're working on and you're creating, okay? Tell us about the Wheel of Fortune and the gift. Tell me about... We're seeing cups, eight of cups. Tell us about, so there's a gift that helps you walk away from something. Page of swords and the king of pentacles. Wow. You're going to receive a message. You're going to receive some sort of information. This is definitely financial. This is definitely financial. Um, all of these messages really feel like about around someone's job, somebody's money that they're manifesting. Um, but the overall energy I'm getting with these four cards here is that there is something that is coming in to help you, something that you've either been manifesting for a long time, attention that you've been setting, uh, an intention that you've been setting for a long time, or effort that you've been putting into something. For a long time and it is finally about to pan out and page of swords energy is like you're going to get some sort of message or communication about it okay all right so let's see i wanted to pull maybe i'll save these for the end the angel ancestor cards i'm gonna save that for the end i need my music one second I don't have my speaker. It's not up. So <laughs> trying to use my phone. There we go. It helps me channel when I have music or noise in the background. Okay, what's next? I'm going to pull the angel answers at the end. Let's see here what financial messages you need to see for this week. Dang. Look at this. You got employment change again. This is the third card of employment change. Somebody has some new opportunity coming in. Okay, let's just put it both ways. If you're an entrepreneur, you have some sort of new opportunity, new stream of income, something that is being added because you got employment change and successful funding. Others of you, if this is a career change that you've been praying for, hoping for, it is coming. Okay, so employment change says... Your career path is leading you in a higher direction with positive changes to support your dreams, priorities, passions, and life purpose. Trust that these changes will help you release the old and welcome the new. You are being supported each step of the way. Beautiful. You also have successful funding. Your idea is divinely guided and supported by the same infinite wisdom of God that gave you the idea. Do not allow money concerns to prevent you from funding partnerships and other investments are available to help you. All right. So if you've been trying to plan something, if you're trying to start something, some sort of new beginning, some sort of new business venture, and you're like, well, I don't have enough money to start it. I don't have enough startup money to do it. Start it and watch the money come in. See, that's that gift energy. Start whatever you're doing and watch the money come in. You have you have a leech, okay? So somebody, there may be somebody that you need to tell to back up off your energy or maybe using you for money, using you for resources um, and not reciprocating anything. Look at that. You got protect your check, your I protect and check your identity, save for the future. What else do we have here for Aries? You will be rich someday. Do not give up. I love when that card comes out. So that is literally 
towards a goal. The slow and steady wins the race here. You will be rich someday. Do not give up. All right, so let's pull some cards here for your financial message. What does Aries need to know about their finances for the upcoming week? I'm going to take a look at the current situation, any challenges, advice, and what could be coming? What could be coming towards her? All right, so let's look at your current situation, Aries. Queen of Swords, current situation here. Any challenges when it comes to your finances? Page of Cups and the King of Pentacles. I'm telling you, being too nice in a situation. Um, what is your advice? You have the Two of Cups. It feels like there's someone coming in to help you. Okay, this could be a business partner. It just could be a ben mutually beneficial relationship or situation. It could be like an investment coming in or somebody investing in your business. Like that's something that's mutually beneficial. Could even be somebody helping you as far as a partner, a lover. But let's see here. What, we got the Eight of Cups fell out. What is to come for Aries and their finances? What is to come? We have the Ten of Swords. So there's some sort of ending. I'm going to get another deck to clarify in the Eight of Cups. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Eight of Wands. Tell us about the Queen of Swords. We got the Moon. Tell us about the Queen. Let me show you the cards because we're not going to have the cards. We got the Moon. We got the Hierophant. And we got the Nine of Cups. Aries, your current situation is about being um, <clears throat> not serious, but there's this energy of being very... How am I put this? Like it's like this determination, using your smarts, using your knowledge, but also being very strict or protective, very protective of whatever it is that you're working about, and and you're just your finances in general. Um, because with the hierophant here, we have something here about a job. It could be an institution. Um, it's Taurus energy as well. It could be a promotion. But there's something here about needing to keep something secret, needing to keep something hidden. And it has to do with your nine of cups, with your wish fulfillment. That's Ursula. <laughs> with your nine of cups and the moon here. Okay. So this is about keeping something secret, keeping something hidden. But it's like almost like being like super tight lipped, like not even with friends, family, even think people you think that support you. Okay. I don't know why this could have to do with the leech energy. We're going to take a look here. What is this? Tell us about the King of Pentacles and the Page of Cups as a challenge. The devil. Mm -hmm. Ooh, the Ten of Swords, child. There's someone around you you need to stop telling your business to, especially about your money and your finances and what you're accomplishing and what you're going after. Um... Absolutely. That's why this energy came out here about being tight-lipped about something. Okay. There is somebody that you do not need to be telling about what you're working on, what you're, what you're planting, the seeds that you're planting. The Ten of Swords came out twice. You got the Ten of Swords as a challenge and it could be somebody that you love. The Page of Cups, it could be somebody that you're friends with. It could be family. But in order for you to get where you're trying to get to in this King of Pentacles energy, you need to be quiet. Okay, because it's like somebody's intention is not good with this devil energy here, or they're jealous, or they're just obsessive. Uh, you know, sometimes, you know, in the evil eye deck, there's a card that says they're intentionally sending, unintentionally sending you the evil eye. And some people could just like jealousy when it's deep rooted, you know, and it could be the nicest people, but when things are not working out for them, it's. It's something that they can't even help almost unless, I don't want to say you can't help it because 
I've been down in the dumps. And one thing I feel like, and I want to share this with you guys, I feel like that has elevated me is that I'm always genuinely happy for people. Okay. And I feel like that will really raise your vibration. When you are genuinely happy for people, you will see blessings come in for you. There are some people who are just not like that. Okay. And so they really, this who they are, if it's not working out for them, they have this stench, they have this eye about them, right? On your stuff. And I feel like that's the unintentional evil eye, even though I feel like you should be able to control that. But that's what it feels like. It feels like somebody obsessively in your energy around you, okay, could be befriending you, could be a lover, could be something like that with the Page of Cups energy. You're communicating with them. They're maybe even being fake nice, okay? Um, but they don't need to know about your business, okay? They don't need to know about your business. It could even be a past lover. They don't need to be know about your business because their intention is for you to fail, for you to be like them. Let's put it like that. For you to be like them for, and like I said, it may, they, it may be unintentionally intentional. You know what I'm saying? Like just, they don't even realize they're doing it or they're giving the off that energy, but some of them with the double energy, it is like, they want you to fail. Okay. Oh, child. Tell me about the two of cups here. Advice from spirit. <clears throat> the strength and the four of coins. This is talking about pulling back from a relationship. This may be something that is very difficult or hard for you to do. Again, this is, this is around the same situation. There's a situation around you, a person around you who could be a leech. You need to protect your energy, your identity, whatever. But there's somebody that you need to pull back from and it's somebody that you love. Okay, I think that's the hardest part is that it's somebody that you love, you have a friendship with, you have a relationship with, but you need to pull it back. Four of coins here is it, depicting a treasure chest, okay? There's something that you need to pull back from in order to make sure that you're straight, you're good, okay? And the strength part. Tell us about the Ten of Swords. When it comes to Aries finances, Ace of Cups. And the emperor. Ace of cups and the emperor. This feels like sacrifice energy, Aries. It feels like sacrifice energy. It feels like there's something that has to end in order for you to get what you want, in order for you to accomplish what you want. But spirit is saying this is for your higher good. Okay, this is for your highest good. And it's almost like whatever that is that ends will absolutely be replaced. It, these, all of it, the energy that it's talking about, the other, the outside energy is cups. So it could be a water sign. It could be a lover. It could be somebody you love as in a friend, but it is all talking about something that you or someone you need to pull back from in order for you to be successful. And it's, it has to do, has nothing to do with you. It's their energy right now. So it doesn't have to be permanent, could be temporary, but for the time being, this may be a painful ending. I'm telling you, it may be, it may hurt someone's feelings with the Ten of Swords and it may end a relationship or a situation for a little while or permanently. But Ten of Swords is an ending of a, a, a painful cycle or something that's hurting you. But the Emperor and the Ace of Cups here, and look at the Emperor. The Emperor and the Ace of Cups here is saying that, you know, you're taking control of the situation. And by taking control of the situation and doing what you need to do, standing in your power, you're going to be blessed for it. The, the Aces are blessings coming from the divine, new beginnings. Definitely could be love. So some of you may have to get rid of a lover that's a leech. So it like, look at it like this. If you're getting rid of a lover, that's a leech. You're about to be replaced. They're about to be replaced with someone who's in the emperor energy, right? Who's, who's abundant. Okay. Who everything you were doing for them, somebody's about to come in and do it for you. Right. And it's not about things, but it is about being drained. Okay. And I feel like you're being drained with, you have a leech. Okay. It is about things being reciprocated. It is about um, balance, 
things can't work. And I've had this conversation before, but things cannot work if they're not in balance. That's everything. If the grass doesn't get enough sun and enough rain, it's not going to grow. You know what I'm saying? It That's everything in this world. It has to be in balance for it to make progress and to grow. And so that's why sometimes a lot of relationships die. Friendships, um, family relationships, lovers. If there's always one person giving too much, it will eventually die. Someone will die. The relationship will die, okay? I'm just telling you. Like literally, I'm not even being funny when I say someone will die. You, if you're someone who is always giving, you're, your part of you is going to die. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not being replenished. So what does that look like? You may start to get more bitter when you're usually a happy person. You may start to get more tired. You may start to get sick because, because you're not being replenished. These are all things that are energetic and they're very, very real. Okay, so you cannot, and I think that was the overall energy of the reading, you cannot sacrifice yourself and your peace for someone else. We have expression and peace. So you need to express yourself or say something here that keeps your peace, keeps your energy, okay, in alignment. All right, so let's take a look at love. <clears throat> Clacking the five nails that I have. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the person on your mind. Please allow me to go clear my suit. What is the person on their mind? What do they want to say to Aries right now? What is the person on Aries' mind wish they can say? I'm so attracted to you, Aries, is what they want to tell you. They are so attracted to you. Let's see who this is. Let's see how it's... Huh? Well, we got the hands of cards. Tell me more about who this person is. Well, thank you for clarifying, Spirit. <laughs> Spirit was like, we said what we said. That's who it is, okay? That is who it is. So it's somebody that you... Oh, Lord. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Um, there, it could be somebody definitely that you've dealt with before. This person is giving player energy, okay? We got hands of cards, take a chance, risk, being strategic, options, not showing hand, gambling. So they play a lot of games, okay? Keys on the ring, many options, decision, unconventional, string along is what's popping out here and one that stands. So this could be somebody who was stringing you along, playing games, all right, playing you. And we also have karmic relationship in the golden mirror. So narcissist vibes, I know we use that word a, word a lot, but for these two cards to come out together, very, very strong narcissistic vibes. And when I say that, I mean, they literally do whatever they need to do to get you in a vulnerable state to, so you can be a good supply for them. Okay. So you can please them, their needs, their ego, whatever it is, that's what they do. Okay. We got fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go and loving you. And the golden mirror, self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship and love bombing. Ooh, there it is. I mean, that pretty much sums it up, but I'm going to pull some tarot right now. I'm going to pull some tarot. They're very attracted to you. So look, Aries, if you got somebody in your energy, you know who is narcissistic, okay? And you're attracted to them. They're attracted to you. That's the worst ones you need to watch out for because when they want something, they will do anything to get it. And if they want you and they're attracted to you, they're going to pull out all the stops, especially with hands of cards. So tell me about, tell us who this person is. So how Aries would know who this is. Four of coins, earth energy. Tell us how Aries would know who this is. 
when I say earth energy, I mean Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, but it, they could just have that in their chart, but it also could be somebody you pulled back from. Eight of Cups, absolutely. Somebody that you've pulled back from, you've walked away from. Um, Eight of Cups is, you know, walking away from somebody, leaving the emotions behind. And it could be a water sign as well. Um, Scorpio, Pisces, and Cancer. Sorry, guys. I have been meal, <laughs> been meal prepping so I can eat enough times a day. And when you start the routine of doing it and you skip a meal, you instantly like get starving. And that that, that hunger just kicked in. Lord, <laughs> forgot to eat after I worked out. All right. So the Empress here. Yeah. Aries, whoever this is, is attracted to you. You may have walked away from them because of their energy, because of their player ways, because of how they were dealing with you, but they're still very attracted to you. How does this person feel about Aries right now? I can't wait to get, I need to, y'all, give me some advice, give me some advice or recommendations on a good blender. Okay, so I can make some smoothies. Uh -huh. All right. This person is obsessed with you. They may not show it. They may not even be speaking to you, but just know they are obsessed with you. I'm hearing lurking on a, a, a secret page. So, Ooh, wow, they're ex obsessed with you. The devil energy is what came out. Could be a Capricorn. Nine of coins. So, nine of coins is that pre empress energy. They're hoping you're single, but they like they're also attracted to your independence, your vibe, your I want to say like how you live life. Okay, if you're out there enjoying yourself, enjoying life. I think they see that, they feel that. They're very attracted to you. What is this person's future actions towards Aries? Um, four of swords. So they're not speaking. Anything else, Spirit? They're just going to keep obsessing for right now. This person's future actions towards Aries. Knight of Cups. Eventually, they'll come towards you. Isn't that Gaston? Gaston. And then the Four of Swords here. <sighs> That's Scar. Scar. Um, eventually, and even Scar here looks like they're obsessing. They're watching you. They're not speaking. They're thinking about you eventually they're going to come in with a knight of cups offer not a king they're coming in with a knight of cups offer so that is that love bombing energy they're not coming in with anything sustainable um just to love bomb you like the card said the golden mirror self-absorbed narcissist one-sided relationship love bombing they made him the knight of cups and that is absolutely perfect if you've seen sleeping beauty i mean Beauty and the Beast, goodness gracious. If you've seen Beauty and the Beast, then you know how perfect they, this is to make, is it Gaston? I think that's his name. The Nine of Cups. Like this is somebody who's so into themselves, but they go after what makes them feel better. They go after what they want and do whatever they need to. But in the process, if they don't get it, their ego will get bruised, okay? So maybe that describes this type of person here. All right? They're longing for you. They want you. They absolutely want you, but this one-sided relationship, it's about what you can do for them, okay? Self-absorbed. What is it? advice? Let's just give advice from Aries for this particular person. Nine of Wands and the High Priestess. Mums the word. Two of Wands. It's, I don't know how long you've been dealing with this person, Aries, or what, but it's really time. The Nine of Wands is keeping your boundaries, okay? Keeping that wall up. You got the Hermit, too. Two Nines. You need to set firm boundaries. Like, if this person comes back, you know you don't want this person. You know you don't want to entertain this. You really need to give that. You really need to say that. Even if there was some sort of sexual energy before, which also could be the nine of wands energy, right? Going back and forth sexually over and over again, but knowing that it's toxic. If you've been doing that with this person, that cannot happen, okay? Because then you're giving mixed signals. 
the hermit here is like literally pulling all of your energy back is what you need to do. You also need to keep your life under wraps here with the high priestess. Okay, I feel like this person would still come in with a lot of secrets, but you also need to be the secret. You also need to be mysterious, okay? And you, it's also time for you to make a decision here with the two of wands. Are you going to move forward because you have the ace of wands at the bottom of the deck? Or are you going to continue to entertain this, okay? Love bombing feels good only for a little while right? Because that's the type of energy that comes in, love bombs, and then ghosts you. All right. So, oh, let's see here for the Aries who are not dealing with anybody. No one on your mind. What's coming towards you? All right. Holy Spirit, Spirit guys and angels, please allow me to look at message here. For the Aries who don't have anybody on their mind, what's the energy coming towards you? You have a soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. This has been coming out a lot. And a honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So I got the honeymoon stage, honeymoon phase. Sometimes honeymoon can be traveling, things like that. But I feel that this is somebody here is going to be making you feel good for a while. We got playfulness and love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. And I'm going to pull one more. What's coming in for the Aries who are not attached with no one on their mind? And forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I love this. This love yourself first card... If you've been dealing with someone, that card usually tells me that, you know, you're selling yourself short. But in this instance, I'm feeling like it's that nine of pentacles energy, really enjoying yourself and setting your boundaries and taking care of you. It makes you more attractive. Like literally how the card says, it makes you more attractive. Okay. By putting yourself first, there's someone here that's coming in who's going to see that and they're going to love that. Okay. And it also has to do with you releasing the past. And I feel like that helps, right? Putting yourself first is helping you release some sort of traumatic experience or some person from your past. So let's see what's coming in towards the Aries. Holy Spirit, Spirit, is Aries who are not connected. Ooh, the high priestess. I feel like this might be a situation that is like, it needs to remain hidden. Some sort of secret admirer, secret energy, page of wands. So you're about to get a message from someone. Knight of pentacles. This could actually lead somewhere. It starts out as fun, flirting. Flir so, so you have like, so say for instance, it starts out as somebody watching you, right? Three of pentacles. It's like a progression. Somebody's watching you, they're getting in your energy, then they start flirting with you. You start messaging, you start texting, you meet them somewhere, you exchange numbers, and then you can actually see the potential of it growing to something more with the Knight of Pentacles here. And then you have the Three of Pentacles, right? This is somebody who's actually going to start verbalizing that they want a commitment, they want a relationship. But I feel that how it starts out is somebody that it's just fun, it's kind of flirty maybe even a friend knight of cups here could be somebody that you turned down in the past tell me about the knight of cups oh the emperor i heard they did not turn them down in the past this is a new person This is like, okay, let me just explain the energy of this person and how it's going to be. It it really starts out as something that is, you don't really think is going to go anywhere. It's kind of innocent. It's playful. 
Um, and it's almost like the more time you spend with this person, you start to see them as the one or potential or, you know what I'm saying? And we're getting all the knights. I love that we have the emperor because the knights here are, are describing this person very confident. Okay. Um, very confident, very romantic. We have all the knights. So it's like literally all this energy, like practical, reliable. They say what they mean. They mean what they say type of energy, romantic. It's, it's not necessarily a love bomber here with the emperor here and the knight of wands, very passionate, very attractive. Um, tell me about this eight of cups. So eight of pentacles and the sun. For those of you who are connected to someone and you know, if you're still connected to someone, you're probably saying, I don't have the right, but you know, if you're still connected to someone it, it, on an energetic level, when you have completely rid yourself of that, and I'm not saying that you have to do that when, in order for this to come in, but I am saying there is something about walking away from one thing. And then another thing appears here with the eight of pentacles and the sun, the two of cups at the bottom of the deck. Some of you, this could be traveling because we have the honeymoon, but this feels like emotionally letting go of something. And this person, whoever this appears and the sun is here, the sun is here. So that's very beautiful. That's the most positive card in the deck. This is, okay, I have to say this too. This person, whoever it is, I really feel like Aries, I don't want to say you may take them as a joke, but you may have, you may take them like, I don't know. It's like something about not seeing them as potentially someone that you would date, or maybe you're thinking that they're not, I, I don't know. It's something here about it not being serious at first or someone that you didn't think was going to go anywhere. I don't know. You tell me how it resonates. If you come back and mark this video, it's like something about, you know, that card in it's not even about not your type because I feel like this person is, you're going to find this person very attractive. I just feel like you maybe have put them, you may put them in one box and then the more time you spend with them, you realize that, oh, they're in this box. You know what I'm saying? They're in like marriage material. They're in long-term relationship. And I think it's just going to take time for it to grow and flow and you see it. Okay. So let me pull a card here because my back is growling. I am hungry. I need to eat. <laughs> Let me see. I'll be back later uh, with the daily. We got eternity. Gently move your awareness from the external world to a world of light within your heart. Allow each breath to heal you. As you drift to a place beyond time, eternity exists within you. Forever sparkling like a diamond, diamond you are in essence a shining star forever transforming to the greater light. I love that. Show the card. It is eternity. All right, so that's it for now. And I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye.